um, I wanted to talk about um, reality. Well, not so much in the eyes of this, but uh, how, how fragile it really is people's concepts of reality. And I was going to use me as an example. Um, because mine at the moment has completely been destroyed um, in the course of this winter break or season rather um, it started around the end of uh, the semester as soon as my semester ended I didn't have to go to school anymore and immediately after I left my job so I didn't have a job anymore and those were really my two main reasons for leaving my house because I really don't have any friends and I don't have much of a social life so other than those two to leave my house I really never left <laughs> I just remembered um, when most kids get um, grounded in the sense that they can't leave, my mother would force me to leave my house whenever I got in trouble. She would have me suffer going with my sister to one of her friend's parties or whatever, so naturally inclined that way, I had no reason to leave my house, so I didn't. And when you stay in one place long enough and you don't have any events to anchor time around, time slowly starts losing its meaning. Um, quickly hours stop being at all relevant. I mean, it starts affecting your eating as well. You can eat as easily at 3 o'clock in the morning breakfast as you can at at 9 o'clock at night, I mean, it really stops having that center. That's the first thing I had affected. After that, it's the days. That's one of the biggest feelings, and one of the most easily to pinpoint. Days stop having any kind of meaningful, um, well, meaning, actually. <laughs> Uh, Monday is as good as Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, they really have no difference. To make things worse, I have a natural incline towards the dark. So slowly my sleep cycle moved forward. I would go to sleep at 2, and 4, 5. At the moment it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I have yet to go to sleep. I wouldn't be surprised if I went to sleep at 9 and then I won't wake up until about 3 or 4 uh, and then the sun will start setting and to make the reason that makes matters worse is because I'm awake during the night when everybody else is asleep so that leaves me even more detached from the world, from the few people that I see so because of that, that sense of detachment, which comes also from this loss of time, you feel completely disconnected from everything else, you start learning hopelessness. I mean, you feel utterly irrelevant. You don't feel that you affect anyone, so you stop having meaning. And, of course, that leads to hopelessness, which helplessness and hopelessness are actually two different terms. People will interchange them, but they are two different things. And um, it's really hard to break out of that, because once you have that helplessness instilled in you, that learned helplessness, it's, it's really hard to do anything else, because people... Uh, un unless someone directly pulls you out of that, it's hard to come out of it, because I know, for example, I need to find a job. But it's it's just difficult for me to even try looking for one, because I feel so utterly detached from everything. I don't feel at all like 
I could. I mean, it, it, there's, it's, it's not that I can't, because I can, I mean, if I logically think about it, it shouldn't be hard for me, because I have experience, um, I am very skilled, I learn quickly, and I can prove that within a matter of minutes. I speak three languages fluently, I can communicate in a fourth poorly, but enough to mention it. Um, uh, I'm overwhelmingly charming, I can win over anybody, and I'm incredibly manipulative. But, which is a good quality in certain places. But somehow I still can't bring myself to even try. And my whole point for this video is first to show people how dangerous it is to be alone. Not that it's a bad thing but a series of events that lead to this kind of person, because I'm sure we all know people who can do something but don't. And to basically tell people that um, it's a very hard place to be. And, I mean, I'm not saying it's the hardest, but it's very hard to feel that you have absolutely no ability to control anything and to feel absolutely detached from anything and feeling that you have no hope of changing. So don't be so hard on those people.